Hey, Jamie here from Radio.co. Today we're looking at how you can broadcast live radio using Butt and Radio.co. Now the great thing about the Butt Broadcaster, apart from its uh, funny sounding name, is it works on Windows, Mac OS and even Linux. Although unlike playout software like Mix or Virtual DJ, Butt only handles a live feed for external devices like a microphone or mixer. However, audio can be mixed together and routed from other software. But for now, we'll focus on getting you on air. So once you've downloaded Butt from either SourceForge.net or the link in the description, just drag the tool into your apps folder. Then open Butt and you'll see this main dashboard, effectively acting as the hub to monitor and control your output. At a glance you can track how you sound with the audio levels, and a log which is pretty handy for keeping an eye on your connection. To be able to broadcast you'll first need to add your radio station. From the dashboard select Settings, Main, and then under Server choose Add. In the next window, choose radio.co under type, then get stations. Another window will appear, and just click OK, but will open your browser to radio.co. Then give access by selecting below. Backing but, you should see all your stations under the radio.co station section. These are all the ones you have access to from your account. So select the ones you want, then add. Under the drop down in server, you'll notice all your stations are now available. It's just a case of choosing the ones you want, and then hitting the play button to start broadcasting. But first, let's double check we're able to connect within radio.co. So to be able to broadcast live, there are actually two options, live anytime and scheduled events. Live anytime lets the station owner connect whenever they want. So if you're the owner, this is probably the best option. Switch this on in settings, broadcast, and turn the toggle on under live anytime, then save. Back in your radio.co dashboard, you'll notice this little, this little top bar with the Live Anytime enabled, so you're able to connect whenever you want now. On the flip side, if you're not the owner, then you'll need to schedule an event. Go to your schedule, then choose a day and time you want to go live. Just select and drag how long you want the event to last for. In the pop-up window under Event Type, choose Live DJ. Then from the drop-down, select yourself. It's also worth tweaking the event settings, like the backup playlist for when you're not broadcasting live. But once you're happy, then just create the event. In the radio.co dashboard, the top bar will either be counting down until you're live or show how long you've got left if the event has already started. Now backing but, you're pretty much good to go. There are just a few things worth checking before going live. Like in audio, you can tweak how you sound and where the audio comes from. Under the drop down in audio device, you'll see microphones, mixers, and even bundled up audio if you've mapped this out beforehand. Just make sure your sample rate is set to 44 100Hz and bitrate matches your station's bitrate output. By default, but doesn't update your station's metadata like the artist and track name. In stream, there are a few options to either manually change this or automatically update it. Like the update song name manually option does pretty much what it says on the tin. So for example, if you're broadcasting a live DJ takeover, then it's worth adding in a show name and station name. Once you've updated this, then the info gets fired over to radio.co and out to your players, apps, schedule widget, and even third-party directors. Listeners will then be able to see what's currently playing. So once you're ready to go live, just hit the play button. But we'll stream your audio to your radio station then out to your listeners. If you're the station owner using Live Anytime, then you can broadcast pretty much indefinitely, which is perfect if you've got a dedicated machine with live playout software or you're relaying from another source. But if you're a guest DJ with a scheduled event, then keep your eye on that countdown timer. Once your short ends, you'll be faded out for the next event or default playlist. In either case, if you want to end your show early, just hit the stop button. And that's but Broadcaster in a nutshell. Really simple to use and works well with Radio.co. So if you've got DJs from all around the world doing live takeovers, then Butt is one of the best go-to tools that works across Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. And if you like this and want more guides and sound advice, then be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and all that goodness. Until next time, take care and happy broadcasting. Hey, I'm James, founder of Radio.co. Before you go anywhere, I've got an interesting question for you. Do you know the difference between a radio station that launches and becomes very successful, gets lots of listeners and does very well, and a radio station that perhaps 
kind of doesn't launch very well and disappears within a few months, doesn't really get much attention. Well, I've put together a checklist which will illustrate to you in a very simple way the five key differences between radio stations that launch do well versus radio stations that launch and kind of disappear. You can download your free copy over at radio.co slash checklist today. Find out exactly how you can make the most out of your radio station. That's radio.co slash checklist. Go and grab your free copy. I'll see you there.